The first step you take in any conservation effort is fixing the leaks, whether it's water, electricity, or hot or cold air. Litter is a leak. Today I'm with Sarah Visser, the Executive Director of the Keep Georgia Beautiful Foundation. Sarah, tell me about what your organization does. And we do exactly what you've just said. We keep Georgia beautiful. For us, litter is the place to begin. We focus on educating communities about the detrimental impact that litter has and on getting people involved in cleanup but also in prevention efforts. We also work in waste reduction and that's recycling, it's composting, it's any kind of efforts that reduce the impact that waste has on a community. We also work in community greening, and that's what brings us here today. We've been working at an urban forestry uh, day for Boy and Girl Scouts and providing some education on waste reduction and recycling. So community greening is everything from planting flowers in a, in a downtown area, for example, because some of the research that Keep America Beautiful has done shows that beautified areas are less likely to be littered, so that's really important. And then in Georgia, we have a fourth focus area that ties in, and that's water. And when we talk about water, we're talking about water quality and water conservation issues. Y'all are the parent organization of 75 affiliates around that's the right. state. What are some of the things that affiliates do? There are litter cleanups and river cleanups. There are graffiti paint outs, planting projects at parks. Really, it's all determined by that local community and the kinds of activities that they want to pursue. So whatever you are interested in is something that you can bring to your affiliate and, and get involved in. It's a great chance, a great way to meet like-minded people that are working every day to make a difference in your community. And that's one of the things that always really excites me about going out to local affiliate events is that there's opportunity to see that community and to interact with those people that, that genuinely care about making their community a more beautiful and, and a cleaner place to live. When people experience something, that's how you really get them to change. Mm -hmm. I cannot count the number of people who have told me after cleaning up litter, I will never throw another piece of litter. It really is a life-changing experience. When you get out there and you see just how much there is, because when you drive by at 55 miles an hour, it's sometimes hard to see how much litter right. there is. When you right. get out there on the ground and you pick it up yourself, it really is life-changing. It really does change those attitudes and behaviors. Georgia's unique. We have mountains, we have plains, we have coastline. Very few states have all of those things in, in their geography. And it's a beautiful state. And we want people to get out and experience the outdoors for that very reason. Because when you come to love it, when you come to understand what a beautiful state it is, then people want to protect it. I am inspired by the things that people are doing in Georgia. They are making incredible strides to make their communities clean, beautiful, economically viable, wonderful places to live. And it is the most inspiring work that I could possibly be doing. What would you say to someone who's thinking about getting involved? Well, I would encourage people to number one, not litter, number two, pick up a piece of litter, and number three, go to our website, find their local affiliate, and investigate the other ways that they can get involved in keeping Georgia beautiful. Fixing the litter leak. That's just another easy way to be green. To find your local affiliate, visit keepgeorgiabeautiful.org. As always, our challenge to you Put your green on, one leg at a time. Stay connected by becoming a fan of our Facebook page and help spread the green by sharing with your friends. Greenshorts.com, that's shorts with a Z.